it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to be reacting to the first day of rehearsals for Junior Eurovision 2018. Sorry I'm not in drag for this but I want to be able to get these videos out as quick as possible um, in the next couple of days leading up to Junior Eurovision. So I might not be in drag for some of them but I want to still give you guys my reactions to each one of the rehearsals. So today is day one, 10 countries rehearsed. I'm really excited because now is the time when everything can change. My number one could become my dead last, who knows? So, without further ado, let's get into reacting. Also, I want to say thank you so much um, to the Polish fans um, and everybody who watched my reaction to Poland's entry. That video literally like zoomed up. It's gained like 15,000 views in the past 24 hours. So like you guys are going hard and I very much appreciate it. Don't think I don't notice. All right, so I'm just going to react in the order that they were uploaded. So first up is Armenia. Please welcome for his first rehearsal, Levon from Armenia with his song L-E-V-O-N. Okay. See, I feel like his live is never gonna like get better. It just is what it is. It's just his voice. I'm hoping there's gonna be dancers. I don't see them in this, but obviously he's dancing. I'm hoping there's gonna be dancers. This is only a minute long. He's got that same green suit on. He's got his little trumpet thing. I like that they have the dancers in the background, but it's not like just a video of him. It's actually like an artwork, a drawing, animation, sort of thing like that. Armenia always does really good with staging, so I'm sure this will look even better with the like camera angles. Right now, a little boring, but he, he does command the stage, you know what I mean? So that was Armenia. I mean, it's not really a big shock because we saw the national selection. It's not too different other than like different LEDs, but it was fine. You guys know how I feel about the song. I don't think I'm ever going to really like it that much because it's just, it's just not for me, but um, it was fine. Everybody seems to be really liking Armenia, which is surprising to me, um, but regardless, all right, so next up is Australia. Obviously, we have JL with her song Champion. Please welcome for her first rehearsal, JL from Oh my god, Australia that outfit, the sparkling <gasps> champion. Oh my god. I love that. That's so fabulous. Her voice sounds really good. I'm so glad she has a good voice. It sounds live. Okay. I mean, it's gonna look so good on the night, right? Like, it's just gonna be epic. It's gonna be fabulous. Australia knows how to put on a great performance and have everything work. So, I mean, she's just, it's professional, you know? She knows what she's doing. And that outfit, I love that outfit, wow. for like a first general rehearsal. Like, come on, this is great. I'm super excited for Australia. I mean, you guys know that that's one of my faves and I'm excited, you know, she did not disappoint. My biggest fear was gonna be that her voice was just gonna be really weak because she had a really powerful voice, but it seems like it's gonna work amazingly. Like that sounded great. I'm really excited. All right, so next up is Azerbaijan with Fidan Husayanova's song, I Wanna Be Like You. Now, I do wanna say, a lot of people have been asking me to react to the revamp. I had already watched it before y'all started asking me to react to that. So, like, I'm not gonna film a reaction because I just think it's boring when it's, like, inauthentic. However, I will say, I mean, it was my last place, and then once the revamp came out, I actually really liked it because they also revamped the video and everything. And I mean, it was so much better. It just looks so much more modern and just like fresh. Like the original music video had this weird like brown tone over it. It looked really dull and dusty. So I'm really glad that they like refreshed it, made it more colorful, made it just better. Um, and it has more beats in it and it just makes it more upbeat. And they added more um, 
Azeri, I think, is the language that they speak in Azerbaijan. And they added more of that um, and less of... So it's not as repetitive of, I want to be like you, which I thought was really, really smart. I'm excited to see their rehearsal. I have never seen any of Azerbaijan's entries prior to this, but, I mean, we know in Eurovision, they generally do really well with staging. So, um, like, insanely well. Oh, my God. Um, 2018's staging was insane. Please welcome for her first rehearsal, Fidan Husainova. That from dress looks so cute. I really like that I dress. Be like you. I really like that dress. I think I would have preferred if she didn't have her legs out, like it was just a gown. But I like that they're switching it up. It's kind of like reminds me of Dua Lipa's um, dress that she wore to the Brit Awards, I think. I like that they have dancers. I mean, this staging is gonna really level it up, I think. It's adding more energy, where the song could sound like, come across like dull and boring. And she sounds good live. Yeah, this looks good, I'm excited. Oh, this is cute. This is not last place. If this gets last place, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, this is nice. Aww. She's so likable, isn't she? I think she's just so adorable. Okay, I'm really excited about that. That definitely, I think that performance, I think the live, I think the outfit with the dancers and everything really levels it up. I think it looks good. I mean, obviously with camera angles, it's gonna be a whole different story and it, it usually is even better with the camera angles. So, I mean, I think if I enjoyed that right now, I'm gonna enjoy it whenever I see it, um, you know with the camera angles and everything. So I'm excited. All right, so next up is Israel with their song, Children Like These by Noam Dadon. Um, you guys know I really, really enjoyed this. Oh my God, I loved it. It was my first place for a really long time, but just over time, like I found I wasn't listening to it as much as I was with Ukraine and Georgia, but I still really love it. So I'm excited and everybody hates the song. So I'm, you know, a little bit sad about that, but hopefully the staging is amazing and like, blows everyone, including me, away. Please welcome for his first rehearsal, Noam Dadom from Israel with his song, Children Like These. I'm excited. What is going on? That's so beautiful. Is that the LED? Oh my God. That's insane. That looks so beautiful. And his voice sounds good. Wow, that's beautiful. And the lights, it's gonna help it build so much more. Oh, that is insanely beautiful. Wow. Whoa. I'm shook. I mean, not much is going on right now. Oh. Come on. Okay, so like not much happened in that, but that was really beautiful. Like I'm excited to see where that goes because um, a lot of people's critiques of this song is it really starts out really slow and like they think that's boring. I like it because it really makes it build, you know, by the end it's more, it has more energy, you know, so we might start off uh, kind of slow, but it really builds. I mean, it's amazing to me. I, I love that. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Wow, I was, I'm really stunned with that whole, you know, the starry night. Oh my god, that was beautiful. I feel like a lot of times people try to do that, and it just doesn't really look that good. But that was amazing. Like, that was really beautiful. Wow. All right, so next up is fan favorite France, and also one of my favorites, um, France, Je me sens toi by Angelina. So I'm excited. The song has a lot of energy, but even when I have like tried to dance to this song, I never really know what to do at the breakdown other than do, 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 like kind of just bop around. And I'm scared um, that it's just gonna be kind of boring. Um, so I'm hoping they have some good choreography. I see dancers in the thumbnail, at least two dancers. So. Hopefully it's just like, it has energy. That's what I want the most. Cause I did see a live performance of her and she sounded good, but it was a little bit boring. Cause she was just on stage like, do, 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 do. 
Please welcome for her first rehearsal, Angelina from France with the song Jamais Sans She looks so cute. I love the overalls. Oh, I love that staging. The background. She sounds offbeat. But I like the energy. She definitely brought up the energy. I love the staging. That's beautiful. Like, just we're on the streets of France. That's actually gorgeous. It's so French. Whoa, it just got sucked up into a vortex. See, I don't understand that dance. This is, that's for the kids. But that's fun. Like, they have energy. Oh. <laughs> I love this. Oh wait, this is actually really cute. She does, in the verses, she kind of sounds like offbeat. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. But I love that staging, like on the streets of France. So many times France tries to do that where they incorporate, um, you know, the Eiffel Tower, basically. I mean, they incorporate the Eiffel Tower into their staging, just so you're like, just so you know, if you didn't know, it's France. Um, and a lot of the times, like, uh, I loved Alma from 2017, but that was just, it was too much, it made my head hurt. That was beautiful, though. That totally worked with the song, because the song just gives me vibes of, like, trotting down the streets of France, like, boo, do, 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 like, that was perfect! I actually think that's like perfect staging for that. I thought that was really beautiful. The LED looks amazing quality. Like, that looked great. Really happy with that. So next up we have Macedonia. Their song is obviously called Doma by Maria Spasovska. Um, this is another fan favorite. Honestly, if this had, um, kind of like Israel staging, but like, snow? Oh my god, that would be beautiful as well. Um, so I'm excited. Let's see if they incorporate that cage into the performance. I don't think they will, but I would like it if they did. Please welcome for her first rehearsal, Maria Spasovska from the former I Yugoslav love the song. Republic of It Macedonia gets better the more I listen to it. I kind of want to perform it. She sounds good. I'm a little disappointed by the staging. It's actually, it's very beautiful. The LED is gorgeous. The LEDs are all gorgeous this year. But I want more happening on the stage, you know what I mean? Like, where's the real snow? I want actual snow falling from the sky. Like, it's just kind of her walking around. I want her to feel the song, you know? Do you guys know what I mean? Like, she was there, she was singing, she sounded fine. The LED was beautiful, but I needed a little bit more from that, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think I would have preferred if she... Even if, I mean, it's just, it's kind of like this feeling where you're just like, she's standing there, she's singing. But then there's also somebody that's like, they are feeling the song. They're like, you guys know what I mean? Like, it's just, it, it was missing. I mean, obviously this is the first rehearsal. She could very well be nervous. She's also probably just trying to work out the kinks and everything and know, make sure that she gets where she's needing to go on point and like camera angle. So like, I totally understand that. But just based on what I saw, I would, I need a little bit more emotion and feeling and passion. So that's what I would say. But not bad at all. At all. Nobody has been bad so far. All right, so next up is my favorite, hopefully still my favorite, Georgia with the song Your Voice by Tamar Edelashvili. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Y'all know, y'all know I stan. I love. And generally, like, I don't like Georgia's entries. This is definitely like one of my favorite Georgian entries, so I'm very excited. All right, let's watch. Please welcome for her first rehearsal. She's beautiful. Tamar Edilashvili from Georgia with her Ooh. song, Your Voice. I love her style. Of course she can hit the notes, of course. I'm not sure about the staging. 
May I honestly, ooh, I don't like it whenever they put text on this. But she's feeling the song. I'm sure this will look a lot better with the angles. Um, right now, not my favorite staging, honestly. A little disappointed. I think I would have preferred something like France's staging. It's just cars. I'm a little disappointed in that. Yeah. I don't know how I, I don't think I like that that much. Um, obviously she sounded great. Um, and that was a lot of people's concern because um, her voice sounds amazing in the studio track and then you always just have that little bit of doubt that they'll be able to hit that. I think I would have preferred a little bit more of like the spins, like there was a lot of energy in that music video. Um, and she had energy, but maybe just like pump it up one or two more levels, you know what I mean? And then the staging, honestly, I do not like whenever they put text in the back. At least it wasn't too much, but it was still like text, which I just think always comes across as cheap. And then the staging just could have been better. I want to create an environment, you know what I mean? I want to feel like I'm in the music video again. And I think I would have preferred something like Frances, where she's on the street. It like creates an environment all around the person and just like adds something really cool. And like with that, it was just kind of her singing in front of an LED, you know what I mean? So we'll see. All right, so next up is Ireland's entry. I owe you. Guys, I get it. I'm stupid. Listen, I just went into it thinking it's going to be a title in Gaelic. That's what I just assumed. So when I saw that, immediately my mind didn't go to IOU. You guys don't need to explain. To I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys being nice. Nobody like made fun of me like horribly. But you guys don't need to explain to me what IOU means. I know. I know what it means. Uh, anyways, by Taylor Hines. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because honestly in the national selection his vocals weren't the best, but he had good energy, so we shall see. I think with a song like this, where it's not like a, an insanely amazing song, the staging is very important. And I think I specified in my reaction to Ireland where I was like, you are gonna make or break this song with the staging. It could either be really cheap or amazing, so we'll see. Please welcome for his first rehearsal, Taylor Hines from Ireland with his song, I Owe And I don't have high hopes because Ireland's generally not that good. I don't think that ever sounds good. Like those runs where it's like, it's never going to sound good, no matter how good your voice is. Okay, but they have energy. But see, so they didn't, it, it's just, I mean, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, um, what was it, Portugal last year? Just some funky text in the back with some funky images and, I mean, I'm glad they have a lot of energy. That's something that a lot of other kids don't have. Oh, I should have been sitting over here. <laughs> I mean, it's not the best of that kind of thing that I've seen where it's like, boom, boom. Like, that's not the best I've ever seen. It was fine. Anyways, next. I'm so annoyed. I should have been sitting like this. I've been sitting like this the whole time. Where am I going to put the thing? That's going to be annoying to edit, but whatever. Next up is the Queen from Albania. Effie Jika with her song Barbie. I'm excited. We love an international legend, a girl who has um, ended hatred between countries. Please welcome for her we first her. rehearsal, Effie Jika she from looks great. Albania with her song Barbie. I love all the pink. Oh my gosh, wait, that's cute. Get some more energy, girl. Come on. I mean, she's fine, but she looks too, um, choreographed. You know what I mean? Like, it's robotic. I want a little bit more authentic movement. Like, just like a girl like that's enjoying herself and dancing around. Let me sit here. But she's fabulous. Come on. I love her. But I want more sass. 
Like, that was just like a... No, I want... You know what I mean? Like, I want more sass. That's, this song is full of sass. Like, that's what I need. I also would have loved some dancers. Um, because this song is so energetic. I mean, I appreciate she's doing choreography, but this song is so energetic. Like, bring some dancers in. Um, that was fine. That was okay. Nothing to write home about. Alright, so the last person that rehearsed today was Belarus with their song Time by Daniel Yostrzemenski. Um, I have high hopes simply because this is the host country and y'all better do amazing things for yourself. But I saw pictures of what they're wearing. They better have changed that because that looked ugly. Please welcome for his first rehearsal, Daniel Yastremski from Host Country Belarus okay. with his song Time. Oh my god, a basketball hoop. <laughs> He sounds good. His outfit looks fine, I guess. His outfit. But I don't want to see these dancers, because they look rough. I can't even see the dancers. I'm sure they'll do something with the camera angles. Oh wait, that's kind of cool. I still just get kind of... I don't want to say this about a little kid, but like, boy vibes. You know, like he's a viner. And he thinks he's really cool. I think I would have preferred a little bit more of a, like... I don't understand the basketball hoop. I mean, I do like the choreography, though. I don't like it when it's just like, oh, I've got all my boys here and we're playing basketball and... I don't know, I think I would have preferred a little bit more of an authentic, like, you know the storyline that was going on in the music video. A little authentic little love story between the guy and the girl and just them, you know? I, I think I would have preferred that. That would have been really nice, but I don't really understand why. I don't know, it's a completely different story that is being portrayed on the stage than there was in the music video. Because the music video was about the girl and the boy and that whole sort of thing, that whole dynamic, but now he's just dancing with the boys and there's a basketball hoop and then they're chilling on the couch. Like, I don't understand, but it was fine. It was fine. That was fine. All right, guys, so that is it for my reactions today for Junior Eurovision. Hopefully I can get this up today. I have somewhere to be, but hopefully I can do that. Let me know what you guys think of everybody's rehearsals. My favorites today, honestly, there were only three people that I was kind of like really excited about. And that was Australia, Azerbaijan, Israel, and France. And probably my top two is Israel and France right now. Because those were really good. Um, everybody else kind of, they weren't bad, but they were just not amazing. Like, you know what I mean? So tell me who your favorites were in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're almost at 500, I almost said 500,000. Oh my gosh, no. We're almost at 500 subscribers, so. Also don't forget to subscribe to my main channel so that you don't miss out on any of the other content that I do. And yeah guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.